goodness. Hang on, you get to run in a second. You get to run in a second. By strapping her in the harness, she's entirely safe, but she doesn't have to hold on to anything and can practice her walking without holding on and still have the support. And we can even uh, let her fall a little bit and have her feel how that is to catch yourself and get your balance reactions. And that has really helped her with her walking skills. She wasn't um, even in her walker before she started here. And um, shortly after starting, she was able to use a, a walker by herself. Well, you look at that video. We are watching Sac State's Department of Physical Therapy at work. This is video from our STEPS program, and you can see this is some of the equipment being used at Sac State Center for Health Professions. Uh, Without being held at all? No holding. Yeah. She just fell once. I mean, she fell I'm, at 14 seconds. I'm, I'm just happy that she can even walk 10 meters mm -hmm. without any support. That's, She's. That's remarkable. Yeah. That's awesome. Wow. You also have that. That's great. Wow, that's huge. Problem. Oh, the she went to 37. The 37 with three. This is Made at Sac State, the video magazine. I'm Gloria Baraga, and I welcome two students from Sacramento State's physical therapy program. We're gonna start with introductions. Hi, thank you for having us. My name is Bipman Atwell. I'm a second year student at Sac State's physical therapy program. Okay. Yes, and I'm Megan Husson. I'm also a second year at the physical therapy program. All right, uh, Megan. Please describe the physical therapy program at Sac State. Okay, well, um, we're now a doctoral program, which we're very proud of. And um, we're lucky to be using the facilities over at um, Folsom Hall, which we now have state-of-the-art equipment, and it's really fortunate for us to be over there. So we're a three-year program that we have about two and a half years of didactic work, followed by nine months of clinicals. And I believe the main focus of the program is to really uh, train well-rounded therapists for, with um, a strong foundation in evidence-based practice. All right, tell us a little bit about your long-term goals. So I would like to see myself eventually working with athletes in more of a sports rehabilitation setting. Oh, okay. All right, and Megan? Um, when I graduate, I would love to work in a neuro rehab or even an acute care setting. Each semester, Sac State opens its doors and folks who run out of health insurance come in and get some health care and physical therapy. Tell us about that experience. So we have three pro bono clinics that we offer at Sac State's PT department. We have an adult neuro pro bono clinic. We have one for pediatrics and we have a third for orthopedics. And so just to give you an idea of how we run these, for our adult neuro clinic, we have two semesters of adult neuro classes. And in each semester, we run one eight-week treatment session for patients who are volunteers or patients, like you said, whose health insurance has run out. And these patients come to us with varying neurological conditions. We work with patients who have had strokes. We work with patients who have spinal cord injuries, traumatic brain injuries, patients with multiple sclerosis, among, different, among many other conditions. And we work together in pairs of two students per patient. And we see the treatment out for eight weeks. We do a full Home, we do a full home evaluation, we do a full initial evaluation, and we make goals for these patients based on their specific impairments and their goals that they want to you know, reach at the end of the eight-week session. And this is a really huge hands-on experience for us, as well as a huge benefit for the community members who come in and are seeking physical therapy. Well, I want to ask you both, how valuable is this for you to get that hands-on experience as you, you know, prepare to go out into the world and be physical therapists. Um, Megan, start, but I, I really want you both to yeah. tell us that hands-on, uh, being able to work with real patients. I feel it's irreplaceable. Um, there's nothing like being able to take the, what we've learned in the classroom and apply it to actual real-life situations. And this is just going to completely help us, just benefit us in the clinics and we're finally out in the real world working with real patients and not just our healthy classmates that we don't actually get to see what's really going on with them. Can you imagine go going out without having that hands-on experience? No, definitely no. not. And like <laughs> Megan said earlier, we have about nine months of clinical internship experience in our program. And to go out into our internships without any experience with real life patients, real hands-on work, that would be unimaginable for myself. Yeah. Yeah, so it's yeah. a real benefit here at Sac State. Oh, yeah. definitely. There's the harness, mm -hmm. and there's uh, uh, some other equipment that you're working with now. Describe the harness, how, how it works. Yeah, um, we have a few harness systems. We have one that's fixed, and we primarily use it for treadmill training. And then we have two other systems, which we're really excited about. Uh, we have one that's a closed loop circuit, and then we have another 15-foot linear track that we use. 
and essentially the patient is hooked up inside of a harness and that's secured to the overhead track and we're able to use these where the patient's moving freely but safely with on, within the track system. And we can use them for a variety of interventions, anything from pre-gait training to weight-bearing ambulation or balance training. And the great thing about it is we can unweight the patients fully or have them partially unweighted. And so we're able to not only let them have greater confidence in what they're doing while working with us, but we're able um, to focus really on developing their proper gait mechanics or um, motor control for their balance coordination that we're really trying to work on. We thank you both for being here and for sharing a little bit yeah, of your definitely. Sac State experience with us. My name is Farm Sally and I'm a Recreational Parks Tourism Administration major and I'm made at Sac State. My name is Danny Berrigan and I received my doctorate in physical therapy and I was made at Sac State.